Hey folks, today it's about this plugin here called Radio and I'm using this for multiple years now and it's probably my weirdest, most loved plugin ever because it's so obscure in a way to listen to radio in your door. Uh, but that's, that's what it does basically. You can select here with the load menu, radio directory, you can select some radio stations, for instance here, Blues Radio, like you have multiple blues radio stations that play this kind of music 24 seven every day. So you can go into different genres here, select some radio stations and then listen to some music. Like here's some vocal chants. You have also your convolution reverb in there. So you can maybe say, I want to listen to this over a small portable speaker. Or maybe a telephone. So you have some kind of convolution already included in that if you want to use that. And there's also here a randomization button so you can click on it and then it selects a random radio station for you. And if you hear something you really like, for instance this portion here, you can select it by click and, tr click and drag and then say save selection here, click on it and then you can say on the left side here, it, it then kind of saves the clip. You can play this clip back or if you want to just drag it into your Bitwig, into your DAW or into your sampler and then use it in the sampler. So let's stop this here, maybe use the sampler and then just drag it into the sampler here. And then we can use this. So this is kind of a single pitch here we can use. And say a detect root key. Or maybe use textures mode here. Right? And then maybe use a uh, reverb on it and use it for some drones for the background. Um, let's go with this one here. So this is something you can do. What I also like to do is maybe instead of um, instead of dragging this out here, we just put after the radio thing here a pitch map. Or you can also use Retune if you want to use that. So some kind of pitch correction tool. And then maybe you choose here a scale. We want to use D sharp natural minor. Use a reverb on that and use it as a kind of a drone machine. Maybe a filter. Something like this. Then maybe a flow machine here. Half time plug in. And then because the radio always plays a new kind of audio bit, it's like real random generative drone machine that always plays in the right scale. And then you maybe sample it and put it into the sampler or something like this. So then we can also use the new plugin I showed you in the last video, Homophone, 
which I'm still using in the demo version here. Go to the editor and then maybe select just something we saved earlier. Um, maybe something longer. Something like this. So we drag this here into the import audio box. Create a new sample. And it kind of creates your multiple pitch regions uh, from this one sample. So we save this here as a dance model. Go back to the synth. And then maybe try this out here, how this sounds. <laughs> Okay, maybe we change here the um, depth of the modulation. Want to have more attack, more release. Maybe a filter on it. In the beginning and then the release, maybe on the loop. Something like this, more voices. And then of course we also use here reverb on that. Let me tone this here a bit down, volume wise. You can still use this here in the background as a... It's a nice... Noisy background drone. Yeah, maybe we can use our auto leveler. I showed you in one of my recent videos. So we have always... A nice audio level here. Then bring this down to minus six, ten, uh, and more minus twelve. This should be perfectly in um, in pitch, so we can use some kind of bass sound to it. Let's try it. Yeah, sounds good. So we use an arp here. There should be mono here. this Then we play some kind of bits here with Tomophone along alongside this drone here.
let me just loop this portion here. Maybe reduce the volume here a bit. Maybe minus minus eight. So we have a nice nice drone here, just coming from the radio. And I have no idea what's playing in here at the moment. Because we putting this through the bitch map here in a filter and a reverb and a half time thing here. We are still in pitch. We are still in the right volume level all the time because of the auto level here. And yeah, we have a nice background drone. So maybe we could try out here some interesting pits here. Maybe use the um, radio thing again. I think it's that here. Oh yeah, vocals are also in there. Some radio chatter. It's the right version, yeah. Yes. Um. So let's go here maybe for some jazzy stuff. Um. You are always at the right place at the right time. After the watch here that I don't get copyright striked. <laughs> uh, pitch map on there. We know the scale. Natural minor and D sharp. Spit here out. Save selection. Or maybe track this out to here. And then maybe try to find here some kind of synchronization with that. Actually, just use it. So we can take here yeah, stretch. We are in stretch mode here. It's raw. Let's go for stretch. Let's correct some bits here. Perfect. Let me just take the baseline bits. like this. Maybe it's too too fast. Oh 
Okay, so maybe some synths to it, polymer. I need, of course, some supermassive, and I'm using a VST2 because sometimes I have problems with the VST3. Instead of polymer, maybe um, a stage piano could also be could also be nice. Let's take here um, same preset. Maybe some drums to it, I don't know. But I just wanted to show you how you can utilize here the radio, uh, the radio plugin, to get some nice atmospherics out of it, maybe some uh, sample ideas. It's probably also nice to shop up some hip hop drums and drum and bass stuff. And sometimes it's really nice to sample things because you get this organic feel into your uh, productions, right? So it's not that static and too synthesized all the time so sometimes some samples are really good to uh, make everything a bit more yeah colorful vibrant organic okay so that's the plugin there's a uh, link in the description below i think it's only eight pounds or something on plugin boutique i don't know so link is in the description check it out it's a nice plugin nice to have thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye